Hi guys, I'm here with the 1997 Chevy K1500 pickup truck. I just replaced the lock cylinder ignition. I'm just trying to show you a quick and easy way to do it without having to take the whole entire steering column apart to replace just your lock cylinder. As you can see, they're brand new. They have the tag still on them, the factory tag. And here's the old one. All you have to do is drill, let's say, an eighth inch hole. I'll show you right here down through the dash cover it allows you to push the pin in to relieve the lock cylinder I'll show you how far out it is here it is about four and a quarter there if you give or take just a hair yeah four and a quarter dead on I know it's hard to see I'm sorry you drill a hole straight down it or it's about an inch and a half from the end of the steering column here Inside of here, actually what I can show you what this looks like, the lock cylinder ignition sits in there just like that. I know this is a really beat up one, this is why I took it out. This little pin here, you actually got to push down on to remove it from the steering column. That's why that hole right there is lined up. Pretty much with that hole, you take a small Allen wrench, which I have here. Please disconnect your negative battery terminal before doing this because you will have to turn the key to the start position. You don't want your truck to try to turn over as you're doing this. You insert the Allen wrench in there. You'll fill, there's like a piece of plastic. If it doesn't go down, you're not finding, there's an extra hole in the plastic, you're not finding it. You'll see when you find the right place here, it isn't hard to, hard to get at all. It drops down in. All you have to do then, oops, I'm sorry. Turn the key all the way to the start position, and as you're doing it, you push down on the Allen wrench here. At Hi guys, I'm here with a 1997K 1500 pickup truck, Chevy. I'm just showing you how to replace the ignition lock cylinder the easy way without having to take the entire dash apart. The easy way to do this is you have to drill a hole through the top cover of your steering column. It's a very small hole, it's very hard to notice. You can even buy a new one if you really don't want to do that, but I'll show you how to do this. You gotta drill a hole. Get the right camera angle here so you can see this. Four and a half inches over. I'm hooking the tape right on the hazard light. Four and a half inches over, you drill a hole straight down in. It allows you to access the lock cylinder retaining system here. As you can see, this goes in just like that. This here pushes in. All you do with that Allen wrench is you push down in. You gotta turn this all the way to the start position, so please disconnect your negative battery terminal. What you do is you have you turn this to the start, and at the same time you push down on this Allen wrench. You can use anything that you have. You push down, you'll fill this release. You pull straight out on the lock cylinder. They come out just like that. And your new one, all you do is push it right in. You just line it up. You make sure this notch here is facing up. You just slide it right in. You'll fill it click in position, and you're good. This does not allow anybody without a key to remove your lock cylinder to start your truck. You have to have the key in the ignition to remove the lock cylinder. So this will not work if you do not have the key for the lock cylinder. Thank you.